The weightlifting in Tokyo is underway and today we kicked off with the highly anticipated 49 kilo weight category, the lightest weight category on the women's side. Now today's episode of the Weightlifting Tokyo Recap is brought to you by the Weightlifting House store. We have 10% sales running across the entire store for the entire Olympic period as well as daily discounts. Today's discounts 25% off all books. We have the greatest weightlifters of all time. We have the Glenn Pendley method in hardback and softback. So if you want to learn more about some of the greatest weightlifters to ever walk the planet, stories, stats, major moments and competitions with some incredible photography also, then head to the Weightlifting House store. The link is down below to pick those up. So the 49 kilo category, as it happened, there were three key players in this session which is kind of how we thought it was going to be. In the end, it turned out to be ever so slightly different. So we had Jordan De La Cruz from the USA. She has best lifts of 89 and 111. Chanu Mirabai from India, 87 in the snatch, 119 world record in the clean and jerk. And Huzi Hui's best lifts from China before this were 96 kilos for a world record in the snatch, 117 in the clean and jerk, which is a total world record. The session opened up with 35-year-old home legend from Japan, Hiromi Miyaki, now a five-time Olympian. She took silver in 2012. She was bronze medalist in 2016. She opened up with 74 kilos in the snatch. That's nine kilos below her 2012 opener. Miyaki made 74 kilos on her opener, but then missed 76 kilos on her second two attempts. Taipei's Fang Wang Li went three for three early in the session. She went 75, 78, and 80. And then trying to pretty much match those numbers from France was Anne Michel, who went 76, 78, and then pressed out 80 kilos on her third attempt. So she got a no lift there. Now, there was a scary start to the competition for Belgium's Nina Sturks, the youngest lifter in the session at just 18 years of age. She missed 81 kilos behind. At this point, Jordan De La Cruz from the USA then bumped up her opener from 81 to 83. Clearly, she didn't want to come out so early because she and Spencer were, you know, obviously feeling in pretty good shape. So Nina Sturks came back out with 81 kilos with one of the most unbelievable saves that we will probably see at this competition and she made that lift on her second attempt she did however then miss 84 kilos on her third jordan then took 83 kilos for her opener it wasn't the easiest opener we've seen from jordan in the past but she did make it obviously we saw 89 kilos from her at the pan american championships just over three months ago for an american personal and pan american record so she had a few more kilos left in the tank windy kantika asai from indonesia missed her opener at 84 kilos but came out and made it on her second attempt missing her third at 87 kilos but she showed that she had a huge amount of pull in that lift then chanu mirabai from india the clean and jerk world record holder made 84 kilos on her first attempt also after sitting in the hole for what seemed like an eternity and at this point, everybody but Hu Hui from China, the snatch world record holder at 96 kilos, had a lift on the board. And the likelihood of it was, I think, that everyone felt that everybody was going to take three attempts before she came out to even set a single snatch. That turned out not to be the case, however. Jordan came out next and made a more convincing 86 kilo lift on her second attempt. That's three kilos under her Pan American record and five kilos under her 91 kilo snatch as a 55 kilo lifter. Chanu Mirabai, who knows that she needs to basically stay with Jordan in the snatch if she hopes to beat her in the total, went up by a kilo and made 87 kilos on her second attempt. Then the world record holder and 2018 world champion Hu Hui dropped her opener from 91 kilos, which would have been a Olympic record, came down to 88 kilos in order to just get a lift in and and play it safe basically and my word did she pull a shizu yong with her opener she she almost power snatched it uh with incredible speed and power jordan then came out for her third attempt to take the lead again at 89 kilos to match her american record and she she made the lift with a bit of a wobble in the left arm so jordan clearly believed that she'd made it she celebrated she sold the lift really well to the crowd but then she got called for two reds. Peros Dimas, who helps with USAW, was in the back room. He put in a challenge card for Team USA. The lift was reviewed and it remained a no lift. So Jordan ended with 86 kilos in the snatch. 
Chanu Mirabai then came out and attempted 89 kilos but also missed that so was left with 87 kilos just one kilo up from Jordan De La Cruz at that point. And that of course then just left China's Hu Zihui with two attempts remaining. And so as emphatically as with her opener, who damn near powered 92 kilos on her second attempt for a three kilo Olympic record. She then jumped all the way to 94 kilos, two kilos under her world record, but still some seven kilos up on Chanu Mirabai's best lift to give her an enormous lead. And again, with absolutely zero technical errors, uh, she emphatically made that 94 kilos. It genuinely looked like she could have probably attempted a new world record at 97, maybe even pushed towards 100 kilos if she had needed to. And so after the snatches, it was Hu Zihui in first place, Chanu Mirabai in second, Jordan De La Cruz in third. On to the clean and jerks, Hiromi Miyake again left us with our hearts in our mouths, missing 99 kilos on her opener due to a lack of strength and not technique, which is always a little bit more worrying. Again, she pressed out and received a no lift, and on her third, she just couldn't lock it out. So perhaps Japan's greatest female weightlifter ever, the five-time Olympian Hiromu Miyake, was out of the competition. Following that, the French Anne Michelle was the first to put up a total. So after her 78 kilo snatch, she clean and jerked 99 kilos, missing the jerk due to a lack of air on her third attempt. Nina Sturks of Belgium, whose best lift as a 49 kilo lifter in the clean and jerk was actually only 93 kilos. She was previously a 55. So she opened up at an enormous 99 kilos, which she made. She then missed 101 kilos on her second attempt, a lift that she has surpassed as a 55 kilo lifter. And then on her third attempt, despite standing with the weight overhead with straight locked out arms, she received two reds. It was just a slight press out. And despite using her challenge card, it was a no lift. So it was a two for six day for the 18 year old Nina with 81.99. She did, however, win the hearts of the fans, the crowd. Well, there was no crowd, but the crowd at home, uh, she sort of cried a little bit on the platform. But for her first really major competition, she did a fantastic job. Then a somewhat tough clean but incredibly easy jerk opener for Indonesia's Windy Acer at 103 kilos gave her a total. Taipei's Fang Wang Ling also attempted 103 for a personal record but missed it behind after her back knee actually touched the floor. And so she was credited with 80 in the snatch and 101 in the clean and jerk. And then this was the, the turning point of the whole competition. The bar jumped an enormous 5 kilos from 103 up to 108 kilos for USA's Jordan De La Cruz. An enormous opener for her. This is significantly more than I've ever seen her open with in the past. I mean, she, she has clean and jerked as much as 115, I think, back as a 55 kilo lifter. And she did 111 at the Pan American Championships as a 49. So these are lifts that she's done, but just an enormous opener. Three kilos under that Pan American record of hers. Despite making it up with the clean, Jordan was unable to lock it out overhead. Uh, so a very nerve-wracking opener for her. Wendy Acer, who was two kilos behind Jordan after the snatch, then came out and made 108 kilos with, again, a tough clean, but just an amazingly easy jerk taking the lead in the competition at this point. On a second attempt, Jordan again came out with 108 kilos. And again, she stood up with the clean. Uh, and again, she missed the jerk. So this was totally now a do or die situation for Jordan as she had just one attempt remaining. With both Chanu Mirabai and Hu Zihui opening heavier, Jordan would then, of course, have to follow herself. So she came out at 108 kilos again. She pulled it, she cleaned it, and she lost it forward just as she was trying to stand up with the lift. So despite having bombed out, she somehow found a way to smile and wave at the crowd before heading off. But a, a sad start for Team USA, a very sad start for... Jordan De La Cruz and of course her coach Spencer Arnold. Next, Hu Zihui, much like with her snatch and looking to just make a lift to ensure an enormous, likely unreachable total, she came out and hit 109 kilos, putting her at 203 kilos in the total. Chanu Mirabai, the world record holder in the lift, then made 110 kilos to lay down a challenging total at 197. Wendy Acer solidified her bronze medal with a 110 kilo clean and jerk for a final lift. So that's 84, 110, 194 in the total. And again, just the most impressive jerk we've seen all competition. And so left with a few attempts remaining, we had the snatch and total world record holder from China, Hu Zihui, and the clean and jerk world record holder from India, 
Chanu Mirabai, whose Ihui then came out and destroyed 114 kilos on her second attempt, moving her 11 kilos up on Mirabai. Mirabai answered with an Olympic record clean and jerk of 115 kilos, four kilos under her own world record, but still a 202 kilo total, which was six kilos under Hu at the time. Hu Zihui then came out for her final attempt at 116 kilos, another Olympic record in the clean and jerk and total, which she made for a stunning 6 for 6 performance, 94 in the snatch, 116 kilos in the clean and jerk for a 210 kilo total. And so for the final lift of the competition, Chanu Mirabai, unable to really attempt a ridiculous 124 kilo clean and jerk for the win, which, you know, it would have been it would have been a silly attempt to have gone for. She opted to go for 117 kilos. She knew that she got the silver medal in the total, so this was just to reclaim that Olympic record in the clean and jerk for herself, but she was unable to make the lift. And so in bronze place was Indonesia's Windy Acer with 84 110 194. In silver was India's Chanu Mirabai 87 115, that's 202. And in gold place was China's Hu Zihui with 94 116, a 210 total, a stunningly effortless win, the first of many goals for Team China. Let's take a very quick look at the stats. Eight lifters, 48 attempts. 28 made lifts, 20 missed lifts. 12 out of the 16 openers were made. And then, interestingly enough, the second attempts, 12 out of 16 were made. So just as many successful second attempts as there were first attempts. Then there was a big drop-off on the thirds. Four out of 16 third attempts were made, which just goes to show that the quality was there, the, the skill, the technique was there, and then it was such a tough competition trying to get those medals that people were going for lifts that maybe they weren't likely to make just to move up in the standings on those third attempts. That is as it happened for the women's 49 kilo weight category. If you want to check out results, scheduling and rundowns, head over to weightliftinghouse.com. There is 10% off everything on the store for this Olympic period and today 25% off all books. So go grab Gun Planning Method or the greatest weightlifters of all time if you want to learn more about the history of the sport.